ஹலோ ஹால் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் விஜயராணி ஓகேங்க அஸ் அ ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி அட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி ஆஃப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் எஸ்ஆர் இன்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி ராமாபுரம் டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி டாபிக் ஆன் எம்ப்ளாயி கிரீவன்ஸ் இன் திஸ் டாபிக் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் இஸ் எம்ப்ளாயி கிரீவன்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் தி கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் எம்ப்ளாயி கிரீவன்ஸ் ஏரியாஸ் ஆஃப் கிரீவன்ஸ் and uh, what are the different types or forms of grievance how we can identify the grievance of the employee and what are the steps involving in solving employee grievance a grievance is a sign of employee discontent or a disopinion which is related to job or within the organization is known as employee grievance the term grievance has been defined by different researchers in different way employee grievance defined as an employee's dissatisfaction or feeling of personal injustice relating to his or her employment a grievance is a sign of employee discontent with the job and its nature a grievance is a problem submitted by employee or a group of employees either related to their job or not related to their job or sometimes the grievance related to the relationship between the uh, management or the uh, employer or the grievance may be poor relationship with the other employees so grievance in the sense any dissatisfaction or feeling of injustice in connection with the employment is known as employee grievance characteristics of grievance so grievances are symptoms of conflict in the organization if it is not addressed properly it will leads to employee conflict and disputes so the followings are the characteristics of employee grievance grievances may be real or may not be real so actually there is a uh, there may be a real reason for a grievance or sometimes the grievance may not be real it may be the uh, perception and attitude of the employee towards the particular scenario or a situation second one is there is no only one or a particular reason for employee grievance so there may be a multiple reasons or multiple causes for employee grievance and third one is need not to express the grievance by the employee which means all the employees in the organizations if they have the grievances need not to express their grievances okay next heading is what are the areas of grievance so first one is based on resulting from poor working conditions if the physical infrastructure physical uh, working condition is not properly provided to the employees in the organization or lack of materials or machines or tools or equipments which is not readily available for them to carry out their work or a task so that they may be lagging in their work to attain their goal or uh, to improve their performance third one is frequently changes in the schedules or procedures without informing without the prior information to the employees rigid production standard and improper matching of the work with the job sometimes the job description may not be relevant to the employees uh, skills employee specification and poor relationship with the supervisors and second major areas of grievances management policies and practices poor pay poor payment wages and salaries is one of the main reason for employee grievances if the employees are underpaid than their colleagues within the industry or within the organization which leads to employee grievance lack of job security like uh, frequently uh, lay offing the employees from the job and the employees uh, not uh, assure about their job then uh, which leads to employee grievance inadequate of employee benefits such as medical benefits leave benefits leave traveling policy recreational activities then uh, uh, grievances related to promotion 
either the promotion based on seniority or a merit basis so if the employees may have a dissatisfaction with the promotion policies transfer policies etc and lack of career supporting and development in the organization and uh, frequently there is a con uh, conflict between the union and union members and defective leadership style and communication gap within the organization also causes for the employee grievance and employee grievance can also affect when there is a violations in the organization violations in the collective bargaining agreement or if the organization fail to fulfill the uh, legislations in the organization the legislation developed proposed by the central government as well as state government if the organization fail to implement that in the organization and uh, which will affect the employee benefits wages salaries etc which leads to grievances and violation of common rules then last one is grievances resulting from personal maladjustment which means the employee is not able or is he or she can't able to cope up with the uh, organization practices or organization policies like a over ambition of the employees over expectations which leads to employee grievances excessive self esteem which also affect the employee satisfaction in the organization next one is what are the different types of employee grievances first one is factual the factual grievances or the genuine and valid reason for the employee grievance employee dissatisfaction is known as factual grievance so factual grievance in this sense like uh, the dissatisfaction of the employees within their uh, with this uh, with this their job either the dissatisfaction uh, may be very genuine or a factual reason it's known as factual grievance second one is imaginary grievance which means the employee grievance or a dissatisfaction is not because of any valid reasons but because of their wrong perception wrong attitude and wrong informations they may have a imaginary dis uh, dissatisfaction with the with their job or a organization is known as imaginary dissatisfaction imaginary grievance third one is discussed grievance which means an employee may have a dissatisfaction for reasons that are unknown to him is known as discussed employee grievance as a manager as a executive how we can identify the employee grievance in the organization so there are four methods available to identify the employee grievance first one is direct observation so usually in the organization the people those who are in charge for handling employee disputes and a conflict they will observe the employee attitude their perception and the way of how they can interact with others in the organization and it will be recorded based on that the employee grievance may be identified then second one is grip boxes in every organizations they have a suggestion boxes or a grip boxes so that the employees can Uh, put their uh, dissatisfaction in a written format in the box and which will be addressed by the uh, respective executive or a manager nowadays grip boxes can be replaced by the uh, softwares and the portal even the employees can uh, post their uh, queries post their dissatisfaction in the portal and uh, it can be replaced electronically third one is open door policy like uh, it is also known as workers participative management the employer always welcome the employees ideas views suggestions likewise the open door policy also helps the employee to open up their dissatisfaction and grievances about their uh, job about their uh, uh, working conditions about their payment and uh, other facilities in the organization and last one is exit interview which is very very important the exit interview will be conducted when the employees permanently leave the organization um, after their resignation so during that time the interview will be conducted by the respective executive or uh, hr and they will be note down uh, what are the reasons how the employees are uh, like uh, 
uh, what are the uh, problem faced by them and uh, how uh, whether they are satisfied in their job performed by them and what are the suggestions they are going to propose to the uh, employer etc everything will be recorded so that we can identify the reason for employee grievances next one is the steps or process involved in employee grievances so first one is receiving a dissatisfaction or a complaint or a, a grievance from the employees and identify the nature of or causes of the dissatisfaction whether the causes related to the working conditions whether the grievances related to the payment of wages bonus or whether the grievance related to the leave policy promotion policy or any management policy related to the employment etc so once receive the grievance from the employees we should identify what is the main causes for the employee dissatisfaction and after identifying the employee grievance causes then we have to identify the fact what actually the real uh, factual information is related to that cause then third one is based on the uh, fact or information we have collected on the employees at dissatisfaction we have to make a decision and we have to answer for the employees and uh, it should be followed by the executive so that whether the employees can overcome their grievance and the employee dissatisfaction can be resolved or not within this i closing this lecture thank you all